let's try to say create a database then let's try to create a, a, a table there and let's see how it works so to start hive you just need to have to write hive once everything is set up there and you just need to so create database it it has created database it is important that you write the don't forget the command use here because otherwise what if you have just one database then it is not really important but make it a practice because there will be multiple databases in hive okay then to create a table you just need to write create table okay few things here let me just run it once and then i'll show you what are the different things here okay so basically what we're doing here is uh, very simple create table name of the table is this this table will be created in the database at eureka one and you're defining different fields in this table okay which are int string int double row format delimited fields terminated by comma stored as text file okay and then what you do is you do a describe of this sorry it will tell you okay this is the when you do a describe it will show you the schema of this right so these are these are the things which are there okay now let's try to run something here then what you do is next thing is you will actually load the data into this table okay so what are we doing here load data local in path okay from this particular place into the transaction records we'll look at that file also and then we'll see what is happening here okay it says copying data copying file loading data into table it has not run any map reduce till now okay now let's do So this is the this is the place this directory basically is your warehouse directory where all the data will be stored if it is a managed table I'll tell you the difference between managed table and uh, external table as well but if it is a table let's assume it is, if it is a table all the data will be stored here okay if you look at this this is the edureka one DB in which this there's this directory which has this file so when I moved it it has got this file here okay is this is it clear to everyone guys so now the file has been created has been moved into this okay so it's like a, we are not created in an internal database format it looks like in the database in the database at Eureka one there's a table called transaction records where you have these there's the file which you moved right okay is that clear to everyone guys so it's as simple as this so and then you do a select count star from transaction records let's see what happens now okay now if you see it has started running MapReduce right so basically whatever you do on Hive will be converted into MapReduce similar to what was happening in pig as well and and it says that okay, it took some so much time okay so this is and this is the these are the number of records which has which it has returned after that query okay so clear clear with everyone this is the time which it took okay and this is where it created a map reduce job okay so it is as simple as that now this is how you can create a table the table gets stored into the data warehouse okay by default if it is not a uh, if it is not a table if it is not a uh, external table it will get stored there okay 
and this is how you will be loading the data from say local path to this okay now let's let's try to see what is the external table now there is a concept which is called external table external table is basically a table which is not you don't move the data okay you let the data be there in the warehouse directory in the sdfs itself instead of moving that data in the warehouse directory okay this table is not managed by hive okay the table will still remain there the actual data will still remain there only the metadata okay yes the loading can be done from local as well as from sdfs that's right so the data can be loaded in that managed table also from any of those now uh, but in an external table the concept is that instead of moving the data into the data warehouse uh, uh, hive you will let the data remain at hdfs only and you will just create a reference of that table okay here where you will just uh, the metadata of this table will be stored in the meta store okay so you will just be you will not be moving that table here you will not be moving that data here usually when the data is large and also the fact that when the data is being updated by multiple resource places uh, when the data is being used by multiple sources we will be using the concept of external table okay though it's just a user preference most of the time people will be using managed tables sometimes uh, you will be using a mix of those i mean obviously you will not be using everything in the external table see the thing is that when you get the data and you have to do a lot of a uh, uh, lot of analysis on that data and fast reporting on that data it is better to use managed table okay you can understand that because you don't have to all the time you don't have to write all the queries on hdfs the qu queries will then be written on the warehouse itself inside the warehouse itself at times there will be tables which will be used which will be large and which will be which will be uh, uh, where the data the amount of reporting you have to do is not much but the amount of data change is huge and there are multiple people who are using that same table okay then you will not probably create a managed table you will use a external table there where the data still resides inside the L, uh, the data keeps residing in the hdfs you are not moving the data from hdfs to the warehouse you are just writing the queries directly okay now obviously when it when it comes to deleting a table uh, external table when it is dropped the table will not be uh, i will not delete the external table because it is not inside it okay the the table is on hdfs you will not be you, the data is on hdfs you will not be doing that just the metadata will be delete okay is that clear to everyone guys is that does that make sense can we quickly look at an example of external table only the schema is deleted that side external tables will be used where you have large data and there are multiple sources uh, there are multiple people who will be looking at data at data at that data and they'll be analyzing that okay you will not be generating huge amount of reports which will very frequently on that same data but the fact is that the data gets refreshed a lot and the data size is very large okay there you'll use a external table so external table will reside on the hdfs only will not move it okay external tables schema will be defined by the schema will be defined by hive and that will be stored in meta store okay let's look at an example let's look at how to create a external table okay now in this case you have to specify a location where the external table will be so in this case is defined it as a root not really on the hdfs but so okay so in this case what what we have done is that uh, let's run it and let's see if it table is getting created then let's do a 
let's look at what is this common directory so basically this is the place where your actual data in HDFS is stored okay this is a location on uh, the warehouse directory is also located on the HDFS Uh, well, Rakesh has a question, but I think a user should be able to work on tables stored in where... Yes, Rakesh, that's right. So, it's not only about users. There can be multiple users which can be connected. There can be multiple Hive instances which can be connected. And on the warehouse itself, multiple users can be used. But if the size is large and if the, if the cost of moving that data is more, uh, then the, the kind of... If you don't have to do a lot of repetition repetitive analysis on that data then you'll probably use the external table okay let's let's look at what is so this is where the actual data is stored on the HDFS okay and we've just given the location of that data okay in this case when I say external transaction records okay the location is common Okay, and that's where we get that data. Okay. So, yeah, I was, what I was trying to show you is that this data now is on HDFS. If you look at here, this data is on HDFS. Okay, we, so if you look at this, this data is now on HDFS. Okay, it, we have not moved that data into the warehouse. Okay, is that clear? You still can do querying on this. Let's see if we can do some, some similar query on this. Okay, so in this case what we see here is that uh, though the data was not there in the warehouse, we could still do a query on that data using an external table. Is that clear? Guys, is that clear how we can use the external table, how to create an external table, how to do a query from external table? Good. Thank you. Very nice. So, okay. Now let's move on. Let's see what is there in store. We're almost there on the time. Yeah, we've already seen this uh, data loading. So load data into table. This is how you load data into the table from a local in path. Then you describe the transactions and the describe, if you do a describe, you will see the schema of the table. Okay. Now, these are the different type of queries. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows these queries, select count star we just did. Then select count distinct, uh, distinct category from, so this, this shows you the distinct uh, columns or the distinct uh, categories from there. Okay. And you count the, uh, you do aggregation there. Then there is a grouping kind of thing, group by category. You will select category, some amount from this, and group by category. So these, these are the different type of queries which can be run here. Okay. If you want, I can run them. A very, very important thing which is, uh, which is supported in this is inserting output into another table. Okay. So insert override table results from select star from transaction. So you select star from uh, a table and insert into a different table. Similarly, you can do an insert of uh, uh, whatever is the result into a directory as well. Okay. So, you can actually take the transactions and you put it into a temporary local directory as well. So, that's also supported here. Okay. In the outputs, uh, you can uh, uh, use the output of one table and put it in another output or another table or you can even move it into a local directory. Okay. 